It is a report that leaves both archaeologists and pre-astronautic experts speechless. Two scientists from Italy and Scotland have used radar technology to detect gigantic underground shafts and multi-story structures beneath the Giza Plateau. According to experts, the mysterious structures are said to reach a depth of almost 650 meters and extend over a total length of 2,000 meters. But what could they possibly be? Did the ancient Egyptians really build a hidden city under the pyramids? Was it perhaps not the inhabitants of the Pharaonic Empire who created this invisible network? And why is the discovery described as groundbreaking by some researchers, while others remained highly skeptical? From a purely official historical point of view, the matter seems clear. Built around 4,500 years ago, the colossal pyramids of Giza are nothing more than oversized pharaonic tombs. But in certain circles, and this is the astonishing thing, the true purpose of these stone giants is interpreted somewhat differently. This is particularly true of the overwhelming Cheops, or simply Great Pyramid, for where neither mystical texts for the dead nor precious grave goods, let alone a royal mummy, have been found, the pharaonic temple theory no longer seems tenable. Instead, according to the far-fetched theory, the pyramids are actually ancient power plants that testify to the outstanding technological abilities of the ancient Egyptians, and also support the assumption that the inhabitants of antiquity encountered one or two aliens. And so it is that the images of the sensational new underground discovery are sometimes juxtaposed with pictures of modern reactor rods in order to at least give the interested viewer something to think about. But what on earth did the researchers actually find beneath the Giza Plateau? Are we really dealing with a hidden city that leads us straight to an incredible historical truth? Could the hidden network even be connected to the legendary Hall of Records? Well, let's take a look at things in order. The discovery was made by Italian Corrado Melanga from the University of Pisa and Filippo Biondi from the University of Strathclyde in Glasgow, Scotland. And to give you an idea of the direction of this archaeological journey might take, it's worth mentioning that Malanga is also extensively involved in UFO research alongside his academic work. Biondi, on the other hand, specializes in radar technology. And so it came about that the two researchers used synthetic aperture radar, or SAR technology for short, to analyze radar waves reflected from the Earth beneath the Giza Plateau. We are therefore dealing with a satellite-based remote sensing method. However, in this case, it was not the area around the mysterious Pyramid of Cheops that caught the scientists' attention, but the area below the Pyramid of Chephren, which still stands 136 meters high today and is thus the second tallest of all the Giza structures. Based on the data collected by Malanga and Biondi, three-dimensional images were created, which are currently going viral on the internet and would show us something that should not actually exist in this form. The Secrets of the Megastructure The images currently circulating on social media show eight vertical, cylindrical shafts or tubes surrounded by spiral structures and said to extend almost 650 meters to the ground. To put this into perspective, the Pyramid of Cheops, which for thousands of years was the tallest structure in the world, stood only 146.6 meters above its surroundings when it was completed. In other words, we are dealing with structures that are four and a half times larger than the largest stone colossus on the Giza Plateau. But that's not all. In addition to the mysterious mega shafts, Malanga and Biondi also claim to have identified a series of multi-story structures that appear to be connected by passageways. All in all, the entire network is said to extend around 2,000 meters beneath all three main pyramids. And given these overwhelming dimensions and the completely unexpected nature of the discovery, the project's spokesperson, Nicole Ciccolo, described it as, quote, groundbreaking and hinted that our understanding of archaeological research and the limits of satellite data analysis could change radically in the future. But how did the ancient Egyptians manage to do this? How did people several millennia ago manage to penetrate such enormous depths? It is well known that the above ground evidence of the Egyptians still presents us with enormous mysteries today. After all, we still cannot say with absolute certainty how the ancient workers transported the pyramid blocks, which weighed tons, hundreds of kilometers away, and then piled them into structures that were as huge as they were almost ridiculously precise. 
But now, the construction mystery of the inhabitants of the Pharaonic Empire has apparently spread underground. The strange tubes, shafts, wells, or whatever they are, also lead to two cube-shaped objects with edges measuring around 80 meters. And let's not forget, the ancient Egyptians, who emerged virtually straight out of the Stone Age and didn't even use the wheel to build their pyramids, are supposed to have created mechanical structures underground with their simple copper chisels and hammers that are simply spectacular even by today's standards. The question of whether this was even possible with the official means available at the time seems at least not entirely far-fetched. But what purpose could this huge complex have served? Well, it is clear that we can only speculate about this at this point, but it is also clear that the alternative theories about the Pyramids of Giza seem astonishing to say the least. Of course, there is the power plant theory, which is based on the assumption that the structures were not pharaonic tombs at all, but served as ancient energy generators. Even a certain inventor named Nikola Tesla is said to have believed that the ancient stone giants were connected to breathtaking technology. But there are even more unconventional theories. U.S. author Joseph P. Farrell actually sees the Great Pyramid as something like an ancient Death Star, more precisely, a weapon of mass destruction. At the end of the day, however, these astonishing interpretations are nothing more than sensational theories, and the principle applies that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. So what supports the claim that structures lie dormant beneath the hot desert soil of the Giza Plateau that far exceed the presumed technical skills of the ancient Egyptians? Well, interestingly, there are even ancient sources that suggest that this sensational discovery is real. In this regard, the Greek historian Herodotus stated that ten years were spent constructing the caves and passages underneath the Giza Plateau for the construction of the pyramids. According to Herodotus, the actual pyramids took 20 years to build, and as we can see, we therefore have a historical source that at least states that something was built underneath the pyramids. The work of a lost precursor culture? But what if the enormous underground structure did not actually exceed the capabilities of the ancient Egyptians? And not because the Egyptians were technologically more advanced than commonly assumed, but because it was not the Egyptians who left behind this confusing testimony to history. You have probably heard of the theory of a lost precursor culture. According to alternative researchers such as Graham Hancock, there was a highly advanced civilization long before our time which was almost completely wiped out by a flood at the end of the last ice age. The few survivors then spread out to the rest of the world to bring the gift of civilization to simpler peoples, and they are said to have left their mark in ancient Egypt. This refers in particular to the Sphinx, which is said to be several millennia older than officially taught, and which allegedly hides a secret of revolutionary proportions. For in fact, access to the legendary Hall of Records is said to lie dormant before the paws of the stone hybrid creature, and with it access to a legendary library where all the knowledge of the lost predecessor culture is stored. But of course, the pre-astronautics enthusiasts also threw their hats into the ancient Egyptian ring with a certain regularity. According to this parascience, the ancient Egyptians were by no means under the influence of just any culture, but were in lively exchange with extraterrestrial beings who were sometimes worshipped as gods and sometimes, unceremoniously, elevated themselves to the pharaonic throne. Well, so far so crazy, so highly speculative. But how does conservative research actually explain the structure beneath the Giza Plateau? Do the long-established experts also refer to the use of ropes, ramps, and sheer muscle power at this point? Well, not quite because among all the alternative theories, we mustn't forget that Malanga and Biondi's study results are by no means free from criticism. Quite the contrary. Lawrence Conyers, a radar specialist from the University of Denver states, for example, that the SAR technology used is not capable of penetrating the ground to such depths. Conyers therefore considers the claim that a full-blown underground city is hidden beneath the pyramids of Giza to be grossly exaggerated although we can imagine that there are at least smaller structures such as shafts, caves, or chambers, which would not, however, shake the foundations of our historical worldview. But no matter which camp you belong to, one thing is certain. We will only be able to recognize the full significance of the discovery if we carry out targeted excavations. Well, 
provided that these are approved by the Egyptian government, of course. Fortunately, our Click Happy government approved your new subscription right away. Just click on the thumb and subscribe to never miss another video from us. See you soon!